Today we are approximately 15 miles south of Guayanilla, Puerto Rico. We're in the Guayanilla Canyon, uh, which is a major north-south trending canyon that um, leads from the south coast of Puerto Rico into the Muertas Trough, down to 5,000 meters. We're here at about 1,800 meters at the moment. We started at 2,000 meters, and we're on the east side of the canyon. So a primary objective of this dive is really to investigate the wall geology of the canyon and look for deformation related to movement along this fault. In terms of the geology, um, it really is a voyage into the unknown. We don't know very much about the geology down here. Nobody's ever been here before. We've seen some exciting outcrops. And we're really excited. Uh, this is a new depth range that we're exploring on this mission. The cofactors that vary with depth, such as temperature, very important in the evolution of species and the ecological niches as well. I think it's really fascinating that the you know geological underpinnings of this whole area that we're looking at really just have, hasn't been investigated to a major degree. I mean, you know, just firsthand view with the you know ROV eyes on the seafloor that hasn't been done before, and um, the geology really helps us understand what we expect or may expect to see in terms of the, the biology and ecology of this environment. This is awesome. So we have a, a predatory carnivorous um, sea star here. You can see below, the this is a bamboo coral, that the axis um, from the base up to the sea star is pretty wiped clean. It looks like it started at the base, moving on up and... Slowly pushing in. Eating all these coral polyps as it moves up. You can see some of the sclerites right inside the polyp. Wow, that's awesome. These uh, corals are considered to be foundation species, which provide habitat for these other fauna. And the, these other fauna represent the diversity of the ecosystem associated with the corals. And we, as we look forward to, to doing management and conservation in the deep sea and, and trying to understand what that diversity is we're trying to manage and conserve, we need to know what's on these corals. And we know very little. Uh, right now, there's been an estimate of over 3,000 uh, associated species with deep water coral throughout the world. Yeah, this is amazing imagery. And these little white opaque lines, these little sclerites that you see are you know, only a few millimeters, really. They're not quite a centimeter, and you can actually see them with this great imagery on the uh, D2. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I think if you look at Sirius, it shows it really nicely. You can actually see evidence of slope failure here. I mean, nothing big, um, and just stuff sliding down hillside. And Jason Chater is just commenting in the chat log that this is reminiscent of the walls of the Grand Canyon. So this is a canyon similar similar to that. This is a submarine canyon that we are in. What we're seeing there is, you know, an arcuate cut that was formed by the breaking of the way of the rocks that once sat there. And you can see it beautifully. I think it's a nice picture. Wow. Beautifully in the D2 picture. You can just imagine that layer once upon a time being attached and then cracking open and then falling down the hillside. Pretty dramatic in the Sirius view. Okay, when we talk about Sirius, Sirius is the vehicle that is looking down onto the D2 ROV. It takes a lot of heave and movement from the ship, so we don't feel that here with the D2. Also, it's like an eye in the sky, I like to say. It's looking at the D2. I think one thing I have started taking for granted is this two-body ROV system where we can use the Sirius to see what's up ahead of us or what the D2 is looking at from a bit bigger perspective. Um, this is just tremendously valuable to give us an overview of not only what's ahead, but, you know, how the, what we're seeing right in front of us, right in front of the ROV fits within kind of the bigger picture. I think it's been you know, eye-opening to, to be able to do this dive in this region and this canyon um, at these depths uh, to give us a better understanding of the distribution of the various fauna that we're, we're keenly interested in understanding.